been sick and I'm actually still kind of sick. I woke up this morning with a sore throat and a headache. So I'm sorry if in this video I seem a little bit down or tired but I'm just feeling a bit under the weather. I got a lot of requests after I made my how I dye my hair video to make a video about how to do a French plait or a French braid, whatever you want to call it. And I kind of thought that everybody knew that, but obviously I'm wrong. Um, so I thought I'd just do this video and show you guys. First off, what you're going to do is brush out your hair because you don't want knots in your hair or like tangles in your hair when you're doing this. You want it to be quite smooth. It doesn't have to be really, really straight, but you just need to be able to run your fingers through it or it's just going to be a problem when you're trying to plait it. So, okay. Basically what you do is you take two pieces here at the sides, two pieces, and they can be pretty small, like this, and then you take a little piece in the middle, like that, and then you just braid it once, flat it once, and then as you go along, you keep taking pieces from the sides, from the middle, and from the other side. continue plaiting all the way down and sometimes it makes it easier if you bring it to the front to do this part just because you can see it and you can actually see what you're doing at least I find it easier this way just take an elastic band and tie it at the end and there you go that's your French plait done and then I'm going to go ahead and do the front part, like my fringe, I'm going to put it back because it just looks neater that way, just teasing it so that I have a little bit more volume on the top of my head because I kind of like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some bobby pins, should be in here, yes they are, good. <laughs> and I just think this makes it look neater. Um, this would be a really good look for school as well. Around the time when we moved to Ireland, when my family moved to Ireland, that my mom started doing my hair like this and she would do it like this every single day for school. Because she, you know how kids get like head lice and stuff in school? She didn't want that obviously for me to get any and I had really long blonde hair. It was about the same color as this but it was natural because my hair is now it's naturally a dark blonde but um so yeah she used to put my hair up like this every single day and i remember i used to get really really angry if she had bumps because sometimes when you do your hair in a french plait like i didn't used to have a fringe then so i would get bumps <laughs> along here and i used to scream at her for the bumps and try and get her to like fix them <laughs> that's pretty much it you don't need too many bobby pins in the back because you don't want to like crowd this area here it's really nice and you know the french plaid is really nice to look at so you don't want to like over do it with bobby pins there if you want to you can spray the whole plait with a bit of hairspray uh but mine usually stays like this without hairspray or anything and then i generally leave it in that night and then when I wake up the next morning I take it out and my, I have like mermaid hair which I really really like so I love this look it's really really good for you know work or school because it's neat and it's tidy but it still looks kind of interesting at the back